Good afternoon, Board of Directors Bob Harper and Ann Holmquist, Sister Carolyn, Sister Celeste, Sarah Seema McCann, faculty, staff, family, friends, and of course the wonderful class of 2014. I would like to start with a quote once said by a woman who I think most of us would consider a powerful icon, Beyonce Knowles. <laughs> she said, a true diva is graceful and talented and strong and fearless and brave and someone with humility. Now I hate to correct Beyonce, but I think she made one small error. What she really meant to say is that grace, talent, strength, fearlessness, bravery, and humility are all traits of true Tolog's, especially from the amazing class of 2014. From the start, our class jumped into freshman year by bravely playing a number of awkward icebreaker games with St. Francis boys, creating inspiring synchronized swimming routines, and coming face to face with a number of deer, bunnies, and even a few snakes on those long walks to the green room. Our fearless nature came out sophomore year as we faced the anticipation of no longer being the youngest in the school, not to mention how we fearlessly made it through the windstorm of that year, which left us slightly hopeful that every time a slight breeze picked up, we might have a day off. <laughs> we all definitely needed strength to get through the dreaded junior year. Although for most of us, it was just as difficult as we had heard it would be, the retreat on Catalina and the excitement of finally being upperclassmen made it a little more bearable. We also always knew we had each other to ask, is that assignment due tonight at midnight or tomorrow at midnight? Or can you get me something from Starbucks too? Or even, do you know whose food that is and do you think they'll be mad if I eat some? <laughs> we have always had and always will have each other's backs. Finally, we made it to senior year, which granted was still much more difficult than any of us anticipated. However, this has also been a year that has brought us all together more than any other. This has been a year filled with recognizing all the talents that make up the class of 2014, including singers, actresses, athletes, writers, researchers, aspiring nurses, future doctors, and so much more. Whether Beyonce meant to or not, she perfectly described the class of 2014, which is filled with fearless, brave, humble, graceful, and extremely talented Tolog's. There are so many people to thank for all the opportunities and support that we have received. Thank you to all the supportive families who have allowed us to be here and have encouraged us along the way. Thank you to the faculty and staff, without whom we would rarely ever be able to get into our lockers without that handy sheet of combinations, or use our computers when the screens would spontaneously go dark, and we would never have learned the importance of filling every margin of a book with annotations, or not only solving math problems, but writing out every single step. <laughs> Thank you for the knowledge you have imparted to us and the mentoring and guidance you have given us that have prepared us for the upcoming years of our lives more than we even realize yet. Most importantly, I would like to thank my classmates and sisters of the class of 2014. Every single member of this class brings something different to the unique combination of talents, dreams, passions, skills, and remarkable qualities that make our class so special. I wanna ask you guys for a minute to hold hands with interlocking fingers. Sorry, with the flowers and the gloves, it's more difficult. But, um, I'm not sure how many of you remember this, but at our first mass together freshman year, the priest asked us to do just this. He said that our own fingers represent our strengths and our gifts, and that the spaces between them represent our weaknesses. We were asked to hold hands with interlocking fingers just like this, to show that the people around us fill in our weaknesses with their strengths. At the time, I thought it was just a nice sentiment, but now I see that we've done that for each other. Sorry. We are a unified class and we make each other whole. Without each other over these past four years, I do not think that any of us would be exactly who we are today. At least I know I would not be. And that would truly be a shame considering the 109 kind, smart, ambitious, caring, funny, and it's often pointed out to us very spirited, <laughs> class of the 2014 who are sitting here now. Thank you for making my time on the hill so incredible, and I cannot wait to see all that you accomplish in years to come. Once again, welcome to the graduation ceremony. Thank you.